Michelle's my guest. Michelle, why are you here today? Um, I'm basically here with my boyfriend, John. Uh, we've been together for about a year. And uh, things have been going well, except for the past couple months. So what do you think's going on? Um, I have some issues with other females that... You think that he might be seeing other females? I don't, I don't really think... It's just the lying about the females. The if there's nothing going females. on, then do don't lie, lie about it. Right. That's how I feel. So what does he lie about? Minor instances about instead of saying he's going home, going to sleep, he's hanging out with girls and partying at a house. And That's not a minor lie. T to me, to me, that bothers me because I'm not even around and I don't even know about it. Um, so, but John's a good guy, basically, to you? He's the love of my life. The love of your life? I would do anything for him. And how long have you been dating again? About a year. About a year. It's a long time. Just about a year. And, uh, and this is, like, somebody you could see, like, maybe marrying someday? Oh, he's, he's amazing. He's amazing. He's amazing. All right, let's bring out John. How you doing? How you doing, Steve? Well, you are a good looking guy. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so you're a wonderful guy. She says, wonderful guy, but that she catches you in lies like, oh, you say you're gonna go home and go to bed, but then you go to some house with girls and you're yeah. part Well, so why do you do that? Uh, you know what? Because I, I feel that she's gonna get mad, so, you know, I, I lie before I even ask her. Because yeah, you know what, my last, my last ex-girlfriend, she would get, you know, very jealous about anything. So I just try to keep it to, you know what I mean. But would you get mad if you no. went and said, if he told you he was up what? front, hey, I'm going over there, no. I'm gonna have some beers, but there's gonna be some girls there. No. Because where you it's work, it's not my character. I work at a bar. You so work at I a bar where there's guys all I the time, right? I deal with men all exactly. night. So. Right. So. So you got to deal with that all all night too. So who knows? So you know? have you been faithful to uh, Michelle? Yes. Never yes. cheated. Never. Not a kiss. No. Do you ever wonder about her? Because, you know, oh, she's, she's in that a, environment. She's a bartender, yeah. I mean, Could be we, drinking. Exactly. I mean, we weren't together for like but a month. But in your gut, what does it tell you? I mean, she, I think she's, she's pretty faithful. You think she's, she's pretty, pretty faithful? faithful. Yeah. So I, I, you know, I don't know what went on the last month that we weren't together. Oh, you guys broke up? For, for about a month. Why? Because she caught me lying. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good reason. No, but if you're broken up, she could sleep with the Seventh Fleet. It doesn't matter. Yeah, but if I was to do that and she found out, she would flip out. It's would not, you? it's not. Vice versa, it would happen yeah. both ways. Okay. It would happen both ways. But during even that time you were down from each other, no, no sleeping with anybody. No, not at all. No, not Neither at all. one of you. No. no. You look like the guy, like, don't, I, I don't watch the show. Don't tell me. I don't, don't say no, it. No, listen, Steve. I don't watch the show, Steve. but I know this Mike the Situation go. character guy. I know, I grew up with him. <laughs> yeah. In fact, uh, I'm thinking, am I being set up like, a, am I doing a spoof <laughs> show or something, you know? Snooky and Mike the situation. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right, well, we're having a little fun, and uh, you know, this is, this is a good time. But in all seriousness, you both took lie detector tests before the show. What if John fails? I can't answer that right now. Because you might stay with him. My, my main thing is don't lie, don't cheat, and don't steal from me, and we're okay. But yeah. if, he, if he fails his lie so detector test. So if one of those happens, then the trust factor's kind of out the window at that point. But would you break up with him? To be uh, honest, I, I, I don't know right now. Okay. I, I love him too much to just walk away from okay. him, so and, I don't know. And John, if Michelle fails his lie detector test, I don't know about that. Can you relate to this story? Go to www.stewilkos.com to get my help. Since dating John Michelle, you were asked, have you had sexual, physical contact whatsoever with any other man besides John? She said, yes. I mean, um, no, she said, she said no. I was going to say, no, I didn't. She said no. She said no. Oh, my God. <laughs> fall off the chair. <laughs> She's, she said no. Uh huh. I have, I have a problem with reading sometimes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and the results for her lie detector test is that she told the truth. Let's see what John's situation looks like. Oh, God. 
Oh, come on. Because you're from Jersey too, right? Yeah. You're from Jersey Shore? Go yeah, that's where yeah, I live. Yeah, you're from Jersey Shore. Exit, exit 91, I, baby. I can say that, right? Yeah, you can say that. So, would I be fair in the same, you know, girls come on to you, right? Yeah. So, how do you say no? It's hard. It's hard. <laughs> it's hard, but, you know, she, uh, not many girls do what she does. You know? <laughs> uh, John! Uh, no, no, no. no. Oh, man. OK. Um, John, you were asked in the past year since dating Michelle, mm -hmm. have you had any sexual physical contact with any other female besides Michelle? Yes. You answer no. Yes. And the results for your lie detector test is that you did not tell the truth. <laughs> what? Wait, Michelle, Michelle, Michelle. Michelle, come back. Hulk, you sit right there. All right. Okay. Okay. Hold on one second, though. In all fairness, now see when we say sexual physical contact. It was a kiss. Oh. It was a There's kiss. There's your chance. It was a kiss when we were broken up. And you couldn't tell me that for no. three weeks. Well, that's it was. With who? A kiss. Who? It was a kiss. I'm serious. The, the girl. Now I'm definitely off the stage. <laughs> I guess that doesn't really help you all that much. Yeah. Um, do you want me to go talk to her? Uh, hey, if you want to go talk I'll, to her, I'm, I'm going to talk, talk to you her. You sit tight for a second. All right. <laughs> okay. I can't. But, but no, listen, 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 listen. The truth of it is, you know, you got a good guy. I asked him. I, know. I asked him, and he lied to me three Times. You tell me the truth, and now it's over. But hold on, hold on, hold on. Just one second. Let let her take care of him now. Listen. Now she can. Okay. Now understand. now she can take care. Thank you. <laughs> now she can take care of you. That's why I don't talk to her anymore. I don't care. When I, just, when okay. I started talking to you again, I stopped talking to her. And okay. you lied to me three times and said nothing ever happened. Nothing ever sexually happened. You kissed her. That's sexual. Well, well okay. Whatever. So you cheated on me. I, I don't consider that cheating because okay. I wasn't with you. Okay. All right, okay. that's all I needed. I wasn't with okay. you. That's all I needed. Hold on, hold on, hold on. For Michelle, we're going to do pick a door game. Here's what we're going to do. Thank you for being on the show. All right. I certainly appreciate it. All right. Um, do, I, do I go? Hold on, hold on. Um, if you've ever seen my show, we do this thing called Pick a Door. You could either look past this and say, you know what, I'm not going to let one kiss destroy this great relationship I had with John, which you yourself said it was great. And people learn from mistakes, and maybe John can learn from this and say, you know what, I love Michelle so much, I'm never going to make that mistake again, because that does happen with people. Or you could go out this door and, hold on, you could go out this door and you know what's out that door. There's a lot of guys that would love to be with a beautiful young woman. And I'll tell you what, you go out that door and, you know, we'll just, we'll throw in dinner for you, okay? But if you don't go out that door, you're taking it, you know, one kiss, you're going to destroy a year. Everybody knows what door I'm going to. I don't know. No, you don't think? I don't know. All right. I'm hoping for the John That's door. That's where I'm going. All right. Hey, hey, give it. Michelle. Michelle. Thank you so much. Good luck to you.